A nurse who claims he was fired for speaking up about a lack of protective gear says he will continue to fight for his fellow nurses. Today, Cliff Welmig spoke with our Reg Chapman. He says he wants to see nurses more involved in the decisions that affect them and their patients. Cliff Wilming believes hospitals can do better to protect nurses. He says he was fired from United Hospital for speaking out about a need for proper gear that prevents nurses from contracting and spreading the virus they are at war with. Disposable surgical booties so that we're not tracking COVID-19 through the halls of the hospital. Um, those are things, you know, and, and then of course hospital issued scrubs. Those are things that are currently available in the hospital. Alina Health says Wilming violated hospital policy and expectations regarding uniforms and hospital scrubs, as well as his duty to follow the directions of his leaders. I think what the hospital is engaged in is basic and textbook retaliation. That's what I believe. Alina Health says it adheres to the latest guidance from the Centers for Disease Control and Minnesota Department of Health. Neither consider hospital issue scrubs as personal protective equipment or PPE. Nurses said this fight is about more than hospital scrubs. The policies and procedure and the lack of frontline health care workers from the central decision making body, which is the incident command, means that the decisions are being made by people that aren't taking care of patients. The Minnesota Nurses Association says it wants nurses involved in the decisions that impact their lives. They want any retaliation against nurses for speaking out on issues of safety to stop. We have multiple other members who we're in the process and aren't far behind the one that was fired. We'll probably have at this rate a couple other people that get fired. Brittany Libicari says MNA is planning an action it hopes will force the state and hospital management to get on the same page when it comes to safety. Reg Chapman, WCCL 4 News. The action the nurses is planning will be a march from United Hospital in St. Paul to the state capitol on May 20th.